Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here. So I wanted to do another Q&A videos. I figured I would just do some Q&A videos for the weekend just because nothing's really happening too much right now anyways, but I got there, there could be some stuff that drops this week because obviously we were about four weeks or actually four weeks exactly today until the premiere of Fear the Walking Dead. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that does come out, you know, to hype up this show. And, and I mean, technically we're a little bit less than that, I would say, because the show, if you watch on AMC Plus, is coming out May 11th. So as of this Thursday, we're we're going to be three weeks away until its premiere, which is actually kind of crazy. But I'm hyped. I'm really hyped for some Walking Dead content to be back. And expect this week for me to have my Last of Us review videos out. So how I'm going to be doing it is I'm just going to be doing one episode or one video per episode. That's how I'm going to be doing it. Just because, like, again, I, I did plan it to do, like, a, a full season review and just do something like that. But I just figured that it was a lot to do. And so right now what I'm doing is I'm in the process of actually rewatching the whole first season and it's giving me a lot of just insight into the show and stuff. So it's actually really cool to, to, to do it this way. And I, I know I'm really late. Like I think the show finished airing about a month ago, but right now I'm sort of in catch up mode. So I'm sort of catching up with, with just everything I've, I've kind of missed over the last however long and yeah, just sort of getting into, you know, doing this again. And, and so obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walk out content like this. If you do want to join the discord and take part in these Q and A's, definitely go follow my discord. The, the link will be in the description of this video once a week, maybe even twice a week. I'll ask for questions and stuff on there and you guys definitely deliver it. I have to set a reminder here for to do a second Twitter Q&A just because I got a lot of questions from you guys on Twitter and I don't want to ignore a bunch of them. So yeah, but let's get into the first question here. So why do you think Morgan went back to King County and could you see him going back to Alexandria after that? Well, on the second part, I don't see him going back to Alexandria like after that. Just because I don't really believe the writers would do something like that. Then again, it is the final season, so who knows? I don't see it personally. In terms of why I think he's going back to King County, I think it has to do with Mo. I think maybe Mo went that way, right? And maybe she went missing, she ran away, and so he's looking for her. And then he just ends up sort of in that area. And then he just goes back to check on his old house. Maybe she's around or or something like that. Like... I think it could play out like that. I'm not entirely sure why he's there. He really could just be in the area, right? Like, we do see this one shot of him. You know, he walks up to the sign. He sees the sign. says King County. He could just be like, oh, my house is around here. So I'm going to check on my house, right? Like, it could be just as simple as that. So Q&A, in Fear the Walking Dead Season 5, we saw wires in the CRM outfits. What do you think the wires do? I don't know if that was wires or if it was just sort of like material used with the suits. Like maybe there's some sort of communication or electrical thing inside the suits. But if anything, I think it's just more a part of the actual outfit. Like I'm assuming their outfit is going to be able to withstand a walker bite, right? So it's going to be something that if it's similar to like a clothes hanger or something like that, then, you know, that definitely, if you have that throughout your whole entire outfit and stuff, and depending on the material you have, like it might just be that simple. I don't know unless I don't really have any theories on it to be honest they haven't really went back to it and I, I think as of now I mean we've seen their suits on World Beyond and stuff and there was nothing really too special about it Q&A we know that Morgan's wife was a type of variant walker and thinking back to the Walking Dead season one all the way through to the series finales of all characters that died if they had been allowed to turn which characters do you feel could have been variants that's a really good question um and I see you gave Shane as an example. I think that would be honestly really awesome. Um, I guess that's kind of the exciting thing about the, the spinoffs and stuff, right? If a character turns, say on the Daryl show, if a character turns over there, they're going to be one of those aggressive walkers that run, right? And like they're they're super aggressive and they'll like break down a wall or break down a door sort of thing, right? So that's actually kind of cool. I, I, I guess I probably would pick Shane, if anything, because I think that would be really insane. I mean, like it would change the context of so much. Like if Shane was one of those running aggressive zombies, I think Rick would have been dead in that scene the second Shane got up because Shane would have ran right after Rick. Or if it was Merle, like when Daryl saw Merle on the ground, Merle would have just got up and started running. So like Daryl would have been, he would have been done for as well there. So it definitely changes it a lot, right? Like the variant walkers, at least the the variant in France. That specific walker is really crazy. q and Grace mentions the rifle that Rick gave Morgan. Uh, do you think it's to go back and put down Dwayne? If so, do you think they will get Adrian C Callie Turner to come back to play Walker Dwayne? I don't know because I think the actor is probably a lot older because back then he was, I, I, I don't know, but I'm assuming he was probably like 12 or something, right? 10, 11, 12. And now he's got to be, I mean, obviously it's been like 12, 13 years. So he's probably early 20s, right? So if you're in your early 20s, you can't really play a 10 or 12 year old. So 
I don't think they would do that. I think they would just recast. And uh, maybe they'll do a little bit of CGI or something like that, or like that deep fake stuff, right, to make him look a little bit more like Dwayne, like the new actor. Um, that's if they do do something like that. I think that would be really cool. Honestly, I do think story wise, it would be amazing. Like if Dwayne was still in that area and maybe he's just very decayed at this point now because it's been so long. Um, just, you know, to have that emotional moment there with Morgan, it would be really crazy. Like that would be really powerful, but I don't know if they will do something like that. Like it just kind of seems like a lot to do something like that, but I would love it. Definitely. Q&A, do you see any potential stories with Jeffrey Grimes? Thank you so much, Grave. So I will say, I, I mean, I just, I don't know. It depends. Like if in the Rick and Michonne series, they randomly bring him up, then maybe. But if Rick's story is done, Andrew Lincoln's done with The Walking Dead, say in the next like four or five years, he's for sure done. I, I don't know. Like, it would just seem so off, but maybe. Like, I don't see any stories with him anytime soon, but I could see some stories done with Jeffrey Grimes in, like, five to ten years, you know? Like, maybe it's just out of pure desperation or something like that, but, like, I could see them doing something like that. And, again, it normally, like, it shouldn't be pure desperation because the character does exist in the comic, but that's how people are going to view it. So, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I would really like Jeffrey Grimes to be a thing because I love Jeffrey Grimes as a character. He's just very different than Rick, and it's so interesting to think that Rick has a little brother. But, yeah, I don't know. As of now, I'll just say I don't think they're going to do anything with Jeffrey Grimes right now. Q&A, I guess this would be more of a pitch than a question. I would love to see a video of you listing your favorite episodes across the Walking Dead universe as a whole, including all spinoffs, of course. Any plans to do anything similar? I actually had a lot of those plans a couple months ago, but, you know, my life completely flipped upside down, so I didn't get a chance to get through a lot of that. I was actually talking about it in the stream the other day on Twitch. I was saying that I wanted to do a full series review of The Walking Dead, but just so much stuff happened, and... You know, for me personally, everything sort of fell apart literally the week before the finale aired. A bunch of stuff was happening that week, but things started to work itself out a little bit, like two days before the finale. And then when the finale aired, you know, I was still going through a bunch of stuff, but things seemed like it was going to be fine. But then throughout December, a lot of drama happened before everything just sort of exploded at the end of December, right after Christmas there. And then that's just sort of, yeah, I mean, you guys know the story at that point. So I just, I wasn't able to get into a lot of stuff that I had planned after The Walking Dead was over. And as of the last, like, literally, it's only been really, I guess I would say the last week of March or something like that, right? That's when I started to do this a little bit more regularly again. So it's going to take some time. I definitely have plans to do that. I do want to do all all my videos on stuff like that. Top 10 episodes, I guess, of all The Walking Dead universe. Just thinking of all my favorite episodes and doing something like that. I think that would be really cool. Q&A, would you like to see Eastman's story if they ever did a season two of Tales? I think the tragic story of his family and yes, I would actually really like to see a story of that. I think the actor could do it as well. So I think that would be honestly super awesome. Like to have Eastman come back in any way, obviously Morgan wouldn't be a part of that story, but I think I think they could do it. Definitely. Like I think fans would, would really like that idea. I think that's the thing for season two of Tales. You need to bring characters like that that are recognizable like you do need to do something like that q a do you think morgan will ever meet Dwayne just like in the comics if yes when and since michonne's son was replaced by yumiko reuniting with her brother at the commonwealth do you think we'll ever see michonne's old family again um i mean on that second part there i don't know like it depends on how much story they're going to do but it just feels like they're kind of branching away from the comic right now so we'll see where this first season of this show goes, and then we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll see if they renew it for a season two, but as of now, I'm just going to say, yeah. Q&A, will you review the new season of Invincible once it comes out? Yes, I, I totally will. I definitely, definitely will. I know in the past I've said I would review certain shows and stuff like that and, and do certain things, but a lot of that really was, I mean, this is kind of getting into some personal stuff, but just in my past relationship and stuff like that, it was kind of hard to do a lot of things like that. And it's really weird. Technically, I have my kids more. I have them like I, I watch them a lot more than I used to because before it was both of us. So it would be easier for me to get away to go do a video or, or do whatever. But I really couldn't do a lot of videos. I couldn't work. I really couldn't do a lot because I was always called to come back up or I always had to deal with something. And so I really just prioritized the stuff that I had to prioritize and all the other things that I wanted to do. I just really couldn't get around to doing it. A lot of the fun stuff like reviewing Invincible or like the boys, even some Marvel 
Marvel stuff and like a show like The Last of Us, you know, that I might have pushed that off or like House of the Dragon. So stuff like that, I definitely am going to review a lot. Definitely Invincible Season 2. I'm really excited for that show. Q&A, once The Walking Dead's main storyline ends, do you think that Robert Kirkman should make a comic accurate animation show with the same people that made Invincible? Possibly even with the same voice actors. Oh yeah, they sh- they they really should do that. I've been wanting that for a really long time. I think if they did something like that, people would really freak. I think it would be so so successful. I I really do because I would say zombies are somewhat coming back in a little bit. I think for the last I would say five six years they've sort of been dead, and I th- I think that you know as of now they are starting to come back a little bit. There, There is a change. Like, zombies are just going to come in waves. Like, it's just, that's always sort of been the thing. Every 10, 15 years, they sort of go out, and then they come back in, and then they're just sort of the new trend, right? So I would say, as of now, I do see zombies being very popular again. I think it's because of The Last of Us. So I can totally see them doing that, and I think it would be very, very successful. Q&A, do you think there will be a scene where Rick just takes on everybody and kills them all, kind of like in, in The Punisher? I know Rick had his fair share of crazy moments, moments but i personally want something like in the in the punisher where john bernthal just kills everybody so do you think there will be at least one crazy scene with rick i hope you're doing good thank you first of all for that i'm doing really awesome and yeah definitely you know especially that prison scene with uh with the punisher i want something like that with rick could you imagine that it feels like in the health and welfare complex he's in a cell and something like that goes down maybe jada sets it up or something and then he ends up fighting someone or a bunch of people in like a room like that you would have to change it you couldn't copy that because that would be just obviously that's too obvious you're copying but something very similar like that where rick just goes crazy I think, I really think that's needed for sure. I hope Gimple has thought of that because that's something that would just be absolutely amazing. Like Rick has done really the the most insane stuff on the show. Like going back to season four's finale, you know, that was insane with the claimers, but he hasn't done a lot of stuff since then. He's done a lot of really cool things, especially in season eight towards the end there. But yeah, for sure, I do agree. I think that Rick needs to have something like that, just like John Bernthal had with the Punisher. And the last question here, Q&A, do you think Colonel uh, Kublik will make an appearance in the Rashon show, working in the CRM camps, cleaning up walkers or something demeaning for her? Yeah, um, for sure. Definitely, I could see that. It depends on the timeline. You know, this show could be taking place a year before World Beyond. It could be a year or two after. If I had to guess, it's probably a year or two after World Beyond. Um, I think that would be cool. Definitely. You would have to get the actress to come back. So maybe maybe she would agree to that. I don't know. It it really does. It really does depend. But I think that would be really cool just to have something like that. But as of now, I think I would say I don't think she'll be in the show. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for posting all of your questions. Hope you guys all know the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.